Okay, we got a 2007 Toyota Sequoia, and the other day I was, uh, actually it was about a month ago, uh, this lady had a problem with her radiator, brought it over, she, uh, I scanned it while I was troubleshooting that radiator problem, and it also had a brake switch AB correlation code. So I got kind of looking into that, and the brake switch was bad. And I ordered one, it's in, we're going to put a brake switch in it, but I want to show you what I found. Um, so I think, that, I'm not sure if that was under ABS or if that was on under engine, but we'll find out. Um, I'll show you how you can troubleshoot this. This is actually a two contact switch. There's a set of contacts that open at the same time the other set of contacts should close and vice versa okay it may be under engine And using live data, I'll show you how I figured out that the switch was bad. Okay, this ST1 is, is uh, one set of contacts on the brake switch. And then you got your stop lamp switch. So we're just gonna we're just gonna watch those two uh, pids here now I'm just going to slowly step on the brake pedal now remember when one set of contacts opens the other is supposed to uh, make or you know make contact close one should open one should close at the same time if they don't open and close at the same time, I think it's uh, I think it's within two seconds. If, if the computer sees that within two seconds one set is in the same state as the other set, then it sets the the fault. So I'm just going to push down on the brake pedal until we see the first one uh, change state. Okay, so we got stamp, uh, stop light, excuse me, we got stop lamp switch that just went on. Now that means that the tail lights, the brake lights are actually illuminated right now. That other one should have went on also, but as you can see, it's still off. I have stopped pushing on the brake. I, I pushed it down just enough to, to get that first uh, step stop, light, stop lamp switch to go on. Now I'm going to continue to push. And now it just went on. I probably pushed that brake pedal at least another half an inch, if not three quarters of an inch, before that one went. Both those are supposed to go on and off uh, at the same time. Now, even though they both say off, there's actually a set of contacts that's open right now and a set that's closed.
closed. I believe I, I looked at the diagram a, a month ago, but I believe right now the stop lamp switch, which is the set of contacts that bring the uh, brake lights on, that set of contacts is actually open right now. When you push the brake pedal, it'll go on. It it closes, makes the the circuit complete, brings the brake lights on. The ST1, I believe, is actually closed right now. Even though it says off, the contacts are closed. When you push the brake pedal, then, uh, and you see that go from off to on for the ST1, those contacts are actually opening. But if, you, if I push the brake pedal fast, then, you know, you look, it, it looks great. They both go on, you let off, they both go off. Push it fast, on, off. But if you go slow, you go on with the stop lamp switch, and then you got to go at least another half an inch to three quarters of an inch before the ST1 finally goes on. So that is faulting the brake switch. She gets a, a check engine light. Okay, so we're going to put a brake switch in this vehicle, and I'll show you where it's at if I can right there she is so there's a jam nut on it can't hardly see what size it is maybe a 13 or 14 and then the brake switch will unscrew let me actuate the brakes so you can see see how it works so let me get some tools we'll get started okay so here's the new switch got four connectors in there there's your jam nut if this jam nut's the same size then we should be able to use it yeah 14 millimeter All you gotta do is break that loose and then unscrew the switch. I'm gonna try to do this and film it, but it's pretty tight. Got it broke loose, I thought. Okay, so I'm going to try to pull this. There's a plastic duct right here that if that was out of the way would make this job a lot easier. And it's nice and loose. I can't quite get it to come all the way down. So I'm going to loosen this lower shroud off. And we're going to see if that will help us any. I would have to say it would. In fact, I may just take that thing completely off. Ten millimeter bolts. Take the shroud off. Looks like there's four of them. Then there's a connector right here. I don't 
Okay. And then you got your brake uh, pedal deal, but you can probably leave that hooked up. There we go. So four bolts and that's down. Now you can get a good look at the brake switch. Now let me get, the, I'm going to get the brake switch connector disconnected. Uh, I think I'm going to need a screwdriver to do that. Let me get a screwdriver. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. I'm just gonna reach up here. I'm gonna push the tab, maybe. tab is on the actual back side of that so let me pop that I'm gonna pop that down I'm gonna set the camera down just for a second so I can reach up here with both hands okay I just popped it off of its little uh, holder okay now you can see the Container. Come on now, find a spot and stay. Hopefully the camera's in a position to see that. So now that that's uh, disconnecting the jam nuts loose, should be able to just spin it out of there. Now if you was reusing your old brake switch for whatever reason, you would want to uh, be careful with the wires. But in this case, this brake switch is not going to be reused because it's being replaced. Okay. Yeah, you can kind of even feel doesn't quite feel right. This this has a new uh, piece right there, so I'm gonna pop this off. It's gonna be easier for me to just to. to pop this piece back in there then it will to try to slide that piece into it. So I'm going to get something to pop that off. So I just got a hook. I'm going to reach up here. I'll pop this thing off here, I hope. Remember, I'm not trying to save this thing. So I got a new one. Okay. <sighs> Must have had a place for the light. No. Okay. Now you can see I've just got the, the hole there that the receptacle is going to go in. 
just to kind of make it easy. Put the jam nut about where the factory one was. That way you're not going to have to just keep spinning it on. Okay, let me get started. I need two hands for this. Okay, got her started. So now it's just a matter of screwing it down enough. Make sure that's completely depressed see the little green piece make sure that that's good too because a lot of times those will wear out and that's your only problem okay, I think Tighten that jam nut up and plug the connector in, then we'll test it. Alright. Okay, the connector's going to be a two hand job. You can see where it connects. Put these together, then I'm going to push it in that hole, push the uh, receptacle in the hole. Okay, there it is. Now, before we put her back together, the one thing you're going to want to do at, at the very minimum is check your brake lights. This is the best tool I've found. And I did a slight modification to it. I've got these. I've got a video on this. If you if you need a good brake depressor, this one's literally about five dollars at Harbor Freight. You can get these. Uh, this is a, one of those wood clamp slash spreaders. You flip the end of it around, and then you don't have to have this extension. But I designed this, and I've got the file in the video uh, that I'll link to this that you can download and it just slides right onto the end of it and the way this works is you adjust it out to about where you need it see the piece right here goes right up underneath the seat and then you got your other piece that goes right here on the brake pedal then you just squeeze the handle and it pushes the brake pedal Hopefully that's coming through. We got brake lights. Now we'll release it. Make sure the brake lights go off. To release it, you got a button. Brake lights are off. Now, the one thing that I was wanting to do. get us fired back up here uh, not trouble codes live data <coughs> I 
and then we're going to find our stop lamp switch and the uh, ST1 switch we're just going to show those and now I want to push down on the brake pedal until we get the first one and the second one and there we go oh. so what we're wanting now move some of this stuff so that I can down that brake pedal. Now before, whenever I push on the brake pedal, you go just a little bit and the brake, the the uh, actual stop lamp switch would come on and then you had to go about three quarters of an inch before the ST1 contacts would go on. So now I'm going to push down slow and we're going to see if how quick one and the other one follow if that makes sense okay so they both came on almost instantly let off slowly pushing okay much better much better those, both those should be real uh, close to one another and they are so that should be good So now, it's just a matter of putting this mess back together. First thing you want to do is put this duct back up here. The heck is that? Oh, that's a sensor. I guess that clips in somewhere. Okay, so that duck's in. I'm going to blow that sensor off. That sensor is absolutely filthy. This, I guess, is your cabin air sensor right here. See how filthy that is? I'm going to go ahead and clean it. I don't think she's been having any problems, but if that's dirty, then the auto climate control won't, won't work properly. And it looks like it clips in right here. I don't think it was clipped in at all. I think it was just dangling there. So whenever you drop this, if it was clipped in, it unclipped itself whenever I pulled it down. But um, Of course, this was the connector that we disconnected uh, from this switch here. This switch is your uh, TPMS scent switch. So I'm going to set this camera up so that you can see me put this back together. First, let me get that cleaned up. I'm going to get some contact cleaner. How dirty it is. Much better. Okay, hopefully you can see all this. Let me uh Clip this in. Not sure which way it goes. There we go. Ducks in. Make sure that this is coming down through here.
trying to get around the camera. And there you go. All back together and got a good brake brake switch. Yeah. Anyway, that's about it for this uh, video. You guys take care.